Greetings, brothers and sisters. I'm Professor Spira, and we are discussing lesson 16. And today we will be of the Professor Arnold Eretz Mucus's Diet Healing System, annotated, revised, and edited by Professor Spira. And we will be getting into the section called Special Mucus Eliminator Recipes. Number one, raisins and figs or nuts masticated thoroughly with raw green onions at the same time. These must not be eaten separately to secure the best results. Pretty straightforward. Check it out. See if you see if you dig it. Uh, next, number two, grated horseradish uh, mixed with honey. Uh, after mixing, allow to stand to take off sharp taste. The honey is only used to make it more palatable. Uh, two-third horseradish and one-third honey or to suit the taste. The ordinary radish, especially the black radish, uh, may also be used the same way or finely sliced and eaten alone as a salad. Uh, for consumptives who cough without spitting, give one spoonful uh, every once in a while. There is a surprising amount of mineral salts and radishes, especially the black radish. So we're just giving you some tools. Uh, yeah, I like, the, you know, radish is something that's real powerful. Uh, I like to use radish to really bring a lot of blood up to the head and uh, if you cut a little piece of radish, and you know, and I've, and I've done this, but what, what I tend to do now with the radish, if I don't put it on my salad, is uh, you get horseradish. I cut a little piece and, and chew on it and keep my mouth closed and it'll just, it, it, your, your whole head can get hot and your ears will get hot and it just brings a, uh, a, a bunch of circulation up to your head and then uh, then you can, you know, I, I spit it out if, if I'm using it in that way. But uh, that's, that's along these lines. So these are just some different things that you can check out, see how it does with your physiology. Uh, recipes for a special dissolver of hardened mucus and uric acid. With the following recipe, I once healed a woman who, after six years of paralysis, became entirely normal with both fasting and the mucusless diet, uh, uh, when both fasting and the mucusless diet failed to affect recovery. It cannot be taken into a mucus-filled stomach. The recipe follows. Take the juice and pulp of four lemons, grate and peel one lemon and mix with the juice. Sweeten with honey, brown sugar, or fruit jelly to taste. The object of the sweetening is to make the mixture less sour and bitter. So when, when, I, when I say things like, there's ways that we can be more aggressive, this is what I'm talking about partly. This kind of thing where you, you can put, in a, if you have an organic lemon, you could put an entire organic lemon or, uh, or several organic lemons in to uh, into a juicer the, with the rind and all. And what comes out of there, you put a little honey with it and you drink that down and you, and you fast on that, that's incredible. I mean, don't do that unless you're ready because that's very aggressive. I mean, that's to me, that, when you get into that type, of, that type of thing, I mean, that is more aggressive than a lot of different fasting protocols that people talk about that swear by and the water fast and all that kind of stuff. It's like, you get into something like that, that's, that's, that's heavy. And so, uh, these are just some tools and ideas, things to try. That, to me, that's fun. That's what's fun about this diet is there's all these different little tools and things that you just wouldn't think on your own uh, to try. But once you do try them and you sort of went through all these things, then you do start having ideas of your own. Like, huh, what if I put this, but it's based on the mucus of diet healing system. It's not just sort of based on something you read on naturalhealth.com or something where it's like, oh, here, if I put a sliver of this and that and I put it behind my ear and chew on it at the same time, I will get this miraculous. And like, no, it's not like these home remedies. It's like you go through all these different things and there's a logic and a reason for all these different uh, little remedies that, that he has, or not remedies, but tools. And once you get a command of them, then, then you can start to, you know, you create these little variations. Because uh, again, this is not rigid. 
So it's like, okay, well, let me, let me try it this way. Or what, instead of having this uh, uh, special dissolver of hard mucus in the morning, what if I have it in the evening or in the afternoon? Uh, you know, all these different variations that you can just explore. Down to dressings. This is really a question of personal taste. A good salad or olive oil with lemon juice to taste is simple and good. A spoonful of peanut butter or nut butter dissolved in water and a little lemon juice added is another simple recipe. So I've never really, I've never been a fan of the of the nut uh, uh, of the nut salad based salad dressing. But if you want to try it and you like it, it's, it's right here. Uh, the uh, uh, the olive oil lemon juice that's that's pretty standard. That's a good one. Uh, Added finely, uh, add finely sliced uh, onions, you know, green onions, if desired. Uh, now, the homemade mayonnaise that uses lemon instead of vinegar is not especially harmful during the transition diet and can be used if you enjoy it. Tomatoes cooked into a sauce or good canned tomato soup mixed with the dressing uh, may help you enjoy the transition diet. So, and this is, this is an interesting piece uh, where Eret, Eret's homemade mayonnaise recipe includes egg, you know, includes raw egg in it. Uh, there are, I, I, I didn't have to use that. Uh, there was a lot of, you know, I did use cottage cheese and, and there's where Eret talks about cottage cheese early on. I used that early on in my transition, but uh, I uh, once I was off the egg, you know, I stayed away from the egg. If that's something that you want to experiment with, that you uh, th then it's it's here. I mean, anything is in here. <laughs> it's in the book. I mean, you're not going to get some kind of attack from me, like, oh no, don't. Uh, what I'm what I my message is, this can be done vegan. You know, I truly believe, you know, the mucus diet and the transition diet can be done without the use of animal products. Uh, if in, but if in the beginning you use some things here and there, uh, because relapse is real. And so you could be going along fine for four or five months. And then all of a sudden you get that, that craving for some, some meat or that craving for something. And again, if, if, if you, aren't really steeped in this because later on Eric talks about the meat substitute you know before soy products there was like the wheat gluten products and Eric recommends that uh, at, at for certain purposes at a certain time so there's a time and a place for for everything within this mucus diet uh, so I'm gonna stop it there uh, thank you for tuning in and until next time peace love and breath Thank you.